Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to use dynamic content to create a header, an automated header. So we can create this header and it's automatically going to pull the page name from our database using dynamic content, which is a fantastic use for dynamic content and really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor button here. And let's just delete this little heading that I've got up here. OK, I'm going to add a new section. Inside the section, I'm going to use a heading module. Now you can use this with most text modules. They'll have the dynamic content option. There it is, it's put in, in there. Now I don't need to change any of this text because if we look over here to the right hand side, you'll see a little icon that looks kind of like some disks. If you click on it, it'll let you add dynamic content. And like I mentioned, what dynamic content does is it pulls from the actual database. So you can have your title, the date, the time, whatever you want in there from the options down here. So I'm going to go for post title. And I've given this page already has the name of DYN heading, dynamic heading. So that's why that's popped up there. And once we've done this in a minute and saved it to our library, you can reuse this on any page and it'll automatically pop up with the correct heading. OK, well, let's just pop this in the middle. I won't spend too much time on styling. I'm going to make it white. It'll disappear on our white background there. I'm going to use a bit of text shadow. Bring that up to full black. We can see what's going on there. And let's just make it uppercase and a little bit smaller. There we go. When you're happy, just leave it like it is. Great. So let's now go into our section and just make it a little more interesting so we can reuse it on every page and it'll look good. So I'm going to click on the little blue tab in the middle there to go to the section. As you can see, it says edit section at the top here. Let's give it a bit of a background. So I'm going to go to style, background type. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush. I'm going to add a background image. Choose whatever image you want is appropriate for you. I'm just going to throw this one in. It's got a bit of color behind it. As you can see, it's behind there now. You can position it how you want, center, center, top right, top left, however you wish. Let's try top right. I think that's going to work. There we go. That's fine. And I just want to make that a little bit wider. So let's go to our advanced. I'm going to uncheck the chain. If you leave it checked, it's going to do all four padding values for you at once. So I'm going to uncheck it. I just want to do the top and the bottom. And let's try 20 picks on the top and 20 picks on the bottom. And that works for me. I'm happy with that header. I'm happy to use it on all of my internal pages here. So when you're happy, hit that update. And let's take a quick look. And there we go. There's our page with our dynamic heading. Now, what's the benefit of it? Well, I'll show you. What we'll do, we'll save this to our library. Then every time we create a new page, we can just pop this in at the top and it'll come up with the correct page. So let's go back to our little edit page here. I'm going to go on to the section itself. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say save as template. I'm going to call it DYN heading dynamic heading. Call yours what you want, but it's a good idea that it makes sense to you so you know what it is. OK, we've now saved it to our library. And there it is under my templates. We can close this up. Now let's add a new page as if we're building an, a regular website. So let's go up here or we'll hit new page. As we're using Elementor, I want to use Elementor full width as the actual template. If you can't see that under your template, just hit the little chevron and it should open up and give you the options there. Now we'll give it a title. My new page. Very exciting title there. And edit with the Elementor. OK, and here's our brand new page. And what we need to do is go with the little folder icon there. 
to add a template. I want to go to my template, which is where we saved it. There it is right there. Dynamic heading. I want to insert it. Now, import document settings. If you're not sure about this, hit no every time because it can update and overwrite the styles that you've got going on. As we save this with all the styles that we're using anyway, it makes no difference. But if you're not sure, just hit the no. And there it is. It's loaded it straight in there and it's automatically got our new title. And any time you create a new page, if you pop that up to the top of your new page, it'll always have the correct page title for you. So there you go, guys. That's how to create page titles using dynamic content. We did this recently with the great Divi theme. We had a question. Somebody asked if we could do it with the Elementor. Really easy and a fantastic feature to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.